What's up everyone? This is Rakesh here once again. Welcome to the session of Oracle SQL. So guys, in our last session, what we have discussed, we have discussed the set operator. Now, what we are going to discuss in this session. So in this session, we are going to discuss the views. Yes, Oracle views we are going to discuss in this session. So let's begin. So guys, what is view? View is nothing but it's a virtual table in which we will allow only selected columns to view to the user so that is nothing but your view now let's understand this with the help of one example so let's say for example i have one table called as a, this one okay now over here from this table i want to show you the only two selected column then how you can do it you can do it with the help of view so what you will do you will create a view and you will give the columns which you want to show so that is nothing but your view so as you can see on the your screen the highlighted area i would like to show then how you can create the view so you can create the view like this okay now over here i have given the view name okay and below that you can notice i have written the select query and select query so output is nothing but your views output over here whatever the column i am giving that column only visible to the view so that is nothing but your view okay so this is how we will create the view and this is what the view is now over here we have taken the example only of one table now you can create the view on multiple table as well so what i am trying to say over here i am trying to say you can pick the columns from the multiple tables and for that what you need to do you need to do like this okay you need to create the join of an a select query and whatever the output of this select query will be the output of the your view and if i will fire the query like this then what would be the output as you can see on the your screen this will be the output so guys i hope you have understood what exactly the view is now let's summarize what exactly the view is view is nothing but it's a virtual table in which we will give the only selected columns and this selected column we can give with the help of select statement and whatever the select statement output is nothing but your view output okay however the data will be in the original table okay now if you will delete the table then view will be invalid so that is nothing but your view so guys you can question over here since i have view and the data is residing in the original table can i perform the dml operation on view so i would say yes you can perform but you have to take care few things so what all that the first thing uh, you should not have such a kind of constraint on the columns which will prohibit to perform the dml operation so this is the one thing you have to take care another thing is you should not create the view read only because if you will create the view read only then you can perform only read only operation you cannot perform the dml operation so this is the thing you have to take care okay now performing the dml operation there are multiple ways so that we will see in the upcoming session now let's go for the practical in that you will definitely understand what exactly the view is so guys let's see the practical example of the view over here you can see i have written some piece of code in order to create the view so let's understand that too so as you can see over here i have written first line create or replace view view name as this one and after that i have written the select statement so let's understand one by one all the lines so over here this means create the view this means replace the view if it is already exist with this name okay and these are the keywords this is the also keyword okay now over here i have written the select statement it means it defines the output of this view so i can say that whatever the output of this query will be the content of this view okay let me repeat once again so what this view will have the data it have the data whatever the output of this query this data will be present in this view okay however the data will be reside in the original table in our case the original table is this one so the data will reside over here but we have created temporary table or we have created view 
to view only two columns over here we have allowed only to view the two columns and what are that columns last name and salary from employee why we have created view over here because i do not want to allow anyone or end user to view all the columns from the employee table so that's the reason i have created and i have created view only on two columns with this query okay so in short what i can say that whatever the output of this query will be the content of this view let me show you over here so let me fire this query and let me show you the output so this is the output over here now let me fire entire query or let me create the view and let me show you the output of or content of the this view so as you can see over here view has created now let me use this view and let me select the data from this view so as you can see over here this is the same content as we have in this query you can see so guys over here you can see i have used as a table so i have created view means it's a table and this is nothing but your virtual table or temporary table we can say that not temporary table virtual table over here what happened this data will be reside in the original table in our case it will reside in the employee table so this is nothing but your view so guys i hope you have understood what exactly the view is now now let's understand can you perform the dml operation on this so if i will create this simple kind of view then i can perform the dml operation on that let me perform over here so you can see over here uh, i have created with this let's say for example something like that i have i want to set okay uh, something like let's say for example zero row updated over here so one row got updated now let me show you earlier data is this one okay now it will get updated with some other value okay which is nothing but your 100 okay so this is what and this is how you can perform the dml operation but again depends upon the your uh, view and how you created the view so it's not straightforward to update the view that required the separate session so i will cover that part in the next video right now let's see the another examples of the view so as you can see on the your screen this is one of the example this is also one of the example so what this view contains this view contains whatever the output of this query over here you can see i have used the join and i have selected the uh, columns from the multiple table okay over here i have used the union or set operator so this is also you can create the view okay so this is all about the view so guys i hope you have completely understand what exactly the view is and guys if this video helps you then don't forget to share this video in any relevant facebook group thank you so much watching for the video bye bye Take care.